Virgo, hello and thank you for being here with me. Welcome to your weekend tarot reading. We'll be looking at your energy and your energy of your person and we'll see what's coming up around the both of you using a couple of different decks. So really appreciate you being here with me. Um, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into the reading and see what's coming up for the sign of Virgo. Okay, what do you need to know? Let's move this over here. <clears throat> okay, let's crown the reading. Okay. Some really mixed energy going on here, Virgo. A lot of different things are happening at the one time here for you. Uh, all right, let's crown this baby. Good, good, okay. Six, seven. Okay, six, seven in the ace. Okay, something's happening in your future. All right, you're thinking about the long-term vision. I'm seeing you think about the long-term. Uh, I want to say something is in the works of happening here for you in the distant future rather than in the immediate future. So what do we have? Could be concerning a fire sign. You've got a page and a king of wands. You have Aries with the sun and also the four of wands. All right, I'm getting marriage. Marriage is coming up. Either you're talking about it, you're planning for it, or you're seriously considering it. It could be marriage or remarriage even. Um, either way, it both have come up. And I feel like Four of Wands is telling me um, marriage is happening. Okay, marriage is happening. You're wanting it. Someone's wanting it with you. It's come up quite strongly in the cards. Uh Okay, what I'm picking up is, is that you're focused on one thing when you should be focused on the grand scheme of things, the bigger picture. Something has your attention completely diverted from the future and it's like you're focusing, you're honing in on, you're magnifying something that's happening and it's not relevant to the future somehow. Now, Virgos, let's not beat around the bush. You can be an anxious bunch. We can't help it. We're ruled by Mercury, right? But we can try to overcome that energy. It's not easy, but it's doable. So you know what I'm getting? Ultimately, you want this, okay? It's here. It's plain to see. You're committed. You have wished for something here. So it's in your orbit. You can get it. You can achieve it. But you're getting too emotionally invested too soon or you're attaching too much emotion to something else going on. Now, I don't know what this is, but it seems to be not a huge deal, but you're making it out to be. I don't get like it's deception. I get it's something about your person that you dislike, but you're probably making it much bigger than it is. And you're, the way you're thinking about it, it's like it's never going to change. They're never going to be anyone different. They're always going to do this. But people change. People grow. People grow out of habits and customs and things that they've done and then they come into a new energy. But you are not seeing that because right now you are just seeing what's in front of you. And the reality is you're just focusing upon what is now, what is happening now. But in hindsight, this will probably not matter in the future. Um, I need your help here in understanding what this is, Virgo. Like, are you obsessing over something here that is not really relevant to the relationship and in no way it's going to help you move forward? Um, because this is like bizarre. I feel like this is very bizarre and 
I don't know, I feel something, something seems a little bit off here, but I feel like you're just focusing on this one thing and you can't, it's like you keep thinking about it, you're almost to the point of obsession. Uh, and I just feel like you're making things harder for yourself right now. If you could only see what I'm seeing from this angle, um, from how it looks on the outside, it's totally not as bad as it looks. It's so not. Um, it's quite a reassuring message, but I feel like whatever this is, it's nothing huge. It's nothing sort of major to worry about. Um, and you know what? I'm talking to you Virgos if you haven't had somebody, all right? If you've been lonely, you've been on your own for quite some time, it's almost like part of you forgot what it's like to be in a connection or how to act as a lover, and that's okay. You know, sometimes we, we unadjust to those things. But now that you're in this connection again, you're doing something. I don't think you're self-sabotaging, but I think you're making things harder for yourself right now. And as a result, your person is picking up that funky energy, right? Picking up that funky energy and knowing something's up with my Virgo. They're not themselves. You're not being yourself and your person can see it. I want to say to you, be more open. Be more open-minded. You've been set in your ways for a while and you've been like this for X amount of years of your life. You're not going to change overnight. It's not going to happen overnight. It'll happen with time and with more and more, the more and more you have an open mind. But I feel like I just keep getting this thought of have an open mind, have an open mind. I reckon it's the self-critical Virgo that's also coming in going... You shouldn't be okay with this. You should stay, say something about this. But to be honest, I get an energy where it's not all that bad. And I get an energy that, you know, the universe has your back in whatever this is. So it's not all bad, Virgo. You know, you've got, you've got some stuff here to work with, I feel. There's potential, okay? There's potential for things to move. But action is required. Either you have to be more open or more receptive or think bigger, okay? Because you're magnifying a situation. Take away that magnifying glass and it's going to look different. Perception is everything in this instance. And I feel this really, really applies to you, especially this week. So really funky kind of reading here. <laughs> Bizarre, but really interesting. Um, I hope it does resonate. And I do hope it makes sense in some, some area of your life here, especially when it comes to love with your person. So I'll wrap it up there, everyone. Thank you again for watching. Uh, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this content. And also to subscribe to the channel and sign up for membership. Um, otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch very soon. So thank you again, everyone. And bye for now.